What's up you guys? Today I want to talk about programming in early 2018 and this is a video kind of for people who are just getting into programming or someone who's been in programming but has gotten out of it and wants to get back into it and wants to know what's new, what's good, what people are using, what the trends are, and essentially just the state of programming languages, what's popular, and here we go. So in this video, I wanted to talk about the programming status of 2018, what's new, what's hot, what's dying, and what you should do if you're looking to get into programming. I did a lot of research and read a lot of articles, as well as thoroughly scanning the Stack Overflow developer survey of 2017 to look for trends, as well as Google, and a lot of this is also just my personal experience, what I have found, um, and what kind of trends I see coming forward out of 2018. So number one on my trend list and growth list is blockchain technology. Blockchain technology is exploding. People are using it all throughout the technology sector, even unrelated to cryptocurrency. It is an exploding field and people are trying to use the public ledger and similar technologies for all kinds of applications. So look for blockchain technology, including Solidity programming in 2018. I think that is going to be the number one sector that sees the most growth. So if you're someone new to programming or someone who is extremely experienced and looking for a new career path, blockchain technology might be just the place for you. The Internet of Things and Edge Computing. The Internet of Things is growing every year. It was There's a lot more hype about it a few years back, uh, but it's still growing every year. People are trying to collect data from absolutely everything. So Internet of Things is incredibly popular right now. Edge computing, for those of you who do not know, is essentially a mix between data collection and the Internet of Things. So the Internet of Things is how every microwave, refrigerator, toaster, literally all kinds of things are getting the Internet and the ability to track and record information. This data needs to be processed in some way, so edge computing is the paradigm in which you send all of your Internet of Things technology to an edge of the network, essentially, where you will do all of your programming and computing analysis on that before you send it up to the cloud cloud because it's essentially more efficient this way. So I think Internet of Things and edge computing are also going to be huge in 2018. Cybersecurity in 2018 is going to be huge along with automated testing. Just look at Equifax and Experian and all that happened with that. People, most Americans losing essentially their social security number and you can see how this is going to be a huge problem in 2018. People are trying to get cybersecurity experts but there's a huge job deficit. So if you are having trouble finding a job and you are fully capable of diving into a new field and learning about a whole new space, cybersecurity might be a great spot for you to look at because there is a huge job deficit. People need cybersecurity experts now more than ever. And of course, artificial intelligence. The steady and persistent climb of artificial intelligence is just growing year over year over year. More and more things want to use artificial intelligence and do use artificial intelligence. Companies across the world are trying to figure out how to integrate AI into their platform. So if you're an AI expert or you're looking to be an AI expert, don't worry, you will have job security for years and years to come. Also in 2018, virtual reality will either explode or kind of die out. The hype around virtual reality has definitely died down, but that doesn't mean that it's out or that it's not going to be huge. Again, the reason that virtual reality was a problem in the first place is that there's huge technology costs. It costs a lot of money to get this, but it's permeating the market more and more, so we're gonna have to find out if that's going to explode or flop in 2018. Personally, I think VR technology is going to explode in 2018, but I also thought it was going to explode in 2017 and 2016. So if you're just now getting into virtual reality, you might wanna wait a little bit to find out if it's going to be the next big thing. Um, but if you're already in virtual reality and you're already doing well, just stick at it, I'm sure everything will be fine. So let's talk about what's popular. Right now, web development is king, followed by desktop development and then mobile development. I think the reason that mobile development is not nearly as popular as I would have thought is probably because a lot of mobile development falls under web development. Say for example, someone like Facebook. They might make a mobile app and they might have a few people who are dedicated to making that mobile app, but a lot of that mobile app is going to access their web API, which is going to actually give them the information. And that's how a lot of companies work at it including the one I work at. We have a web API and that will handle the web interface. We also have a mobile app which interacts with the web API. And so web right now is essentially the king because it's not only used for web applications and websites, but a lot of people just use mobile sites which is on the web and web APIs are obviously huge for all kinds of applications, even desktop applications a lot of the time use a web API. 
All right, now getting to the current king, web development. Web development is often synonymous with development as almost all of the jobs right now are in web development. Not to say that there is not a huge desktop and mobile application market, but web development in general is by far the most popular technology right now. So the most popular programming languages by occupation are JavaScript, MySQL, C Sharp, Java, and PHP in that order. So you might be thinking that is a lot of web development and that's probably why web development is king right now. JavaScript, the number one programming language by occupation is absolutely exploding. Node.js is becoming a dominant player and frameworks like Angular and React are becoming more and more important every single day. People are using them and that's what people are looking for when they're posting job applications. Not to say that there's not jobs in C Sharp or Java or C++ even. There are still tons of jobs out there in those more structured offline languages. If you are looking to get into desktop application, C Sharp is a great tool. If you're looking to make video games, C Sharp or C++ are still the king and JavaScript really hasn't permeated that market much at all. Some interesting notes I found out while looking into this was that JavaScript is incredibly popular, but that Angular is still the most popular of all the frameworks. Uh, I've seen a lot of articles showing Google Trends of Angular getting beat out by React and Ember and all these different things, but it really just depends on the exact keyword you typed in. I found that by changing the keywords just a little bit, you get incredibly misleading results on Google Trends because it's not in any way a fuzzy search, it's just a literal string search. So if I say Vue.js versus React, React is going to be about 10 times higher because some people search for Vue, some people search for Vue.js, some people search for Vue.js. So you really have to be incredibly inclusive in order to actually get an appropriate trend. And right now, Angular is still the dominant player, not only in terms of jobs, but in also in terms of search history, popularity. It is, it is still the king for now. All right, so let's get to my recommendations for 2018, what I think people should be learning and what I think is going to do the best for them going forward. Number one would be JavaScript. I'm not going to specifically recommend you become a React developer or an Angular developer, but just in general, JavaScript is exploding. You need to know JavaScript if you are going to be a web developer in 2018. And in 2018, web developer is the most popular and most in-demand job that you can have as a software engineer. So really, you need to start learning JavaScript and you need to start understanding it, how it works, and learn a few frameworks. I personally do know React. I do know Angular and I know a little bit of Vue.js. That doesn't mean I know everything about all of them, but I know enough to get by and that's kind of where we're at in 2018. You need to know JavaScript, you need to know a few of these languages and really just kind of pick one that you like, get really good at it and you can translate those skills later on to one of the other ones. Option number two in my opinion is C Sharp. Um, not specifically .NET, sure you can do .NET, but C Sharp in general leads to a lot of different opportunities. I personally think that Java is dying out in favor of C Sharp. The reason being is not necessarily because people who use Java will use C Sharp, but a lot of the applications that people had used Java for in the past are now getting replaced by transpiled C Sharp. So for example, Unity Development. Unity is an incredibly popular game development tool and it uses C Sharp or JavaScript and then it transpiles down to the native languages of Mac OS, Windows, Linux, Android, iOS, all those different things. So you write one time in C Sharp and it will transcode into all of those different languages, which is super awesome. Not only that, but if you're actually someone who is hoping to make like a Windows desktop application, like a proper application that goes on your desktop, a native client, C Sharp is your go-to. It's incredibly easy, it's incredibly fluid, and it works great. I personally think that if you're not going to do web development or anything like that, you need to be learning C Sharp because C Sharp will let you make desktop native applications. You can also make web applications on C Sharp. There are a lot of companies that do that, and you can make mobile games, and you can make like pretty much everything that you want. Even if you're not making a mobile game, there are other frameworks out there like Xamarin, which will let you write once in C Sharp and make a native iOS and a native Android application. Totally irrelevant of games, just like a regular app. So C Sharp is incredibly powerful and I think that if you're not in the web development space learning JavaScript and Node, you need to be learning C Sharp because that is the go-to technology for a lot of companies if you're not a web-based company. So to wrap up, in industries that I think are going to blow up, blockchain is number one on the top of that list, followed by Internet of Things, and then maybe VR, depending on how that goes. 
As far as technologies to learn, Node, JavaScript, and some form of framework, whether that's React, Angular, Vue, Ember, or something like that, are essentially the need-to-haves. Not only that, but MySQL is still hugely important. You don't necessarily have to know MySQL or NoSQL or any of the database technologies if you are not an actual back-end developer. If you're a front-end developer, you can kind of ignore that for the most part. But MySQL is actually surprisingly still more popular than NoSQL, at least according to the research that I did. A lot of people are actually switching back from NoSQL to MySQL, so the popularity of MySQL is actually growing a little bit more than it had been in previous years. If you're coming into programming new and you're looking for what language do I learn, what do I spend my time researching and developing, I personally would recommend JavaScript script and node and picking some sort of framework and if you don't want to do that if you don't want to do anything with the web and you'd rather make native applications mobile apps games that kind of thing I highly recommend C sharp I think developers that can do those two things are going to be the ones that are the most employed in 2018 without question I think that we're moving forward at an incredibly fast paced everything's changing all the time but I think that if you know either of those languages very well inside and out, I don't think you'll have much trouble finding a job. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys liked the video. I kind of want to do these videos maybe quarterly. I just want to talk about the state of programming, um, where things are going, what's new, what's hot, and what's kind of fallen out of favor. Like I mentioned earlier, AngularJS is an incredibly popular JavaScript framework, but it's kind of dying, as in people are saying that it's dying, the hype's kind of leaving, the push towards functional programming is pushing people away from Angular. It's still the king for now, but it's definitely slowing down, and things like React and Vue.js are up and coming. And so maybe next quarter everything will have changed. Angular is now the king again. It is skyrocketing to the top and React is falling to the wayside, but we don't really know for now. So I want to make these videos every once in a while and kind of just talk about the state of programming, what's new and what's good and what people should be learning, especially people who are incredibly busy and don't have time to research and find out what's new and what's hot. There's a lot of people who are just programming all day and they don't really have time to learn new technologies and figure stuff out. So I'm hoping to provide a little bit of guidance for people who are busy. Anyway, so I hope you guys liked the video. I tried to be as unbiased as possible. I am a web developer. I am a back-end developer. So a lot of this is kind of biased in that sense, but I did a lot of research. I did a lot of looking on the Stack Overflow Developer Survey for 2017, and a lot of this is also just my opinion. So take it with a grain of salt. Don't be too salty if you're a C developer who writes in Linux. Um, this is just the current state of things and what I think is going to be the most useful for people going into 2018, not necessarily the thing that you absolutely should do. Anyways, later guys.